What's up, YouTube? Tim and Logan, back with another one. Out here at the Hudson, gonna do a, do a little catfishing here. Our spot has been uh, taken over, though, over there. I don't know what they're doing, but they're setting some tents up. I got some lifts. I heard something about glamping. I don't know. I'm not liking it. Anyways, we're gonna deal with this side of the rock. Hopefully, uh, we'll be okay. Of course, we got a huge cloud coming over us, which is kind of cool, but not because my T-tops are off on the car, you know. Anyways, we're going to get set up here. I'll throw you guys up on the head mount. You might ask, what, what are you using for bait? Well, what do I always use? Chicken liver for catfish. So grab you a good sized piece of liver. Bingo. Now remember, you want to lob it out there. There we go. Let that sink all the way to the bottom. We're going to set our drag as loose as it'll go. There she goes. Let's set it up on the rod holder right there. We're good to go. All right, so we're going to get the rest of these set up. I do have a special pole out here today. Got our Big Eye Pro Touch custom rod. I bought this for my son for ice fishing, and uh, we didn't get a chance to really utilize it the last couple of years, so I figured I'll set it up for a catfish rod and see what happens. Why not? Maybe we'll just throw this one right over on in here. Anyways, we're going to get set up. And we'll see y'all as soon as we get a fish. Here it goes. It's going. You wouldn't believe what happened, guys. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah, we're trying to reenact this if you can't tell already. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm fighting a fish. I don't know what the heck happened to my audio, but it's gone. So I got Logan here with me. We're going to try to explain to you what happened. We didn't get a bite all day, and all of a sudden the ice fishing pole went off. This is the 42 inch custom ice rod, and that thing was zinging. So, I'm trying to fight it. We're pulling it in. I guess I can throw some music on for you. Hit that play button. There we go. Anyways, this is how it went down. That thing was yank and drag. I have eight pound test on this line, it's a 42 inch custom rod. It would not come in. I can't believe my audio is gone, guys. I am like, I don't even know what button I hit on the thing. Who knows? But I do have at least footage of it. Check this out. I had to go across the other line because it was going nuts. This was over a seven minute fight, guys. So if y'all just can hit that thumbs up for me. I can't believe I actually got this fish up on a 42 inch ice rod. My arm was literally cramping. It had that thing bent right over. Here we go. Yep. Here comes Bubba. He's got the net. He's ready to get this fish. That thing, I was so worried it was going to go around that log. It was literally, when it comes in, you'll see what happens. I was trying my best to work him down over to the left hand side, but he just kept going out. I don't know if it was because of the little rod or if I was to fight him on a bigger rod, what would happen with him, but this fish was spunky. He was fired right up. I'm telling you, he kept taking drag on me too. Get up! I'm telling you guys, you have no idea. 
fight a catfish on an ice fishing jig pole. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I asked Logan to go over and grab the, the scale because at this point I knew it was definitely going to be over 10 pounds. I literally couldn't believe my eyes when there was that pole that went off. Out of all five poles that we had out there, that one was the one to go. Just on a whim today before I went, I threw the extra reel on that. I see it sitting there all the time and we don't use it for ice fishing. We probably should, but there really isn't huge fish around here that we need it for, so maybe a lake trout or two, but the catfish is definitely giving that pole a workout for sure. Go. This thing is fighting. Look at that pole go. It wants to wrap around that log so bad when it comes up. It was pulling that little pole all over the place, literally. literally fighting it under the log <sighs> I thought for sure that fish was gonna snap off at this point like seriously how did it not snap off watching this footage eight pound test guys eight pound test no leader slide weight tied to a crooked circle hook, some like offset circle hook deal. Oh, finally you can see him. Finally you can see him there. Look at him, he's going right for that log. Logan's sitting there with the net, he's getting ready. That fish is just stirring the water up. He's coming in. Logan's got the scooper down there. He's ready to scoop it up. This fish is not giving up. It doesn't help with the rod I'm using, but it worked. I got the fish in. Look at that net job. Awesome job, dude. Yep, there's my arm. Yep, get my arm out the damn way. Come on. <laughs> You're yelling something. You just looked at me and yelled something. I think you said it's so heavy. <laughs> Is that what you were saying? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Logan's shy. He's not talking much. You talk on the videos, talk on here. Well, the fish definitely felt like more than 10 pounds, let's just say that. Felt more like 15 or 20. The thing had some chompers on it. Like, it wasn't even grit, it was actual teeth. We ended up weighing it and measuring it, and it measured out to what? 31 inches and... 31. 11 pounds and... 11 ounces. It, we, it, it locked the scale in at 11.11. 11. So, 
Alright guys, I had to combine a couple of audios for the video here. Anyways, so I just popped the hook out. Still kind of unbelievable. I cannot believe I actually just landed this fish on a 42 inch ice fishing rod. Pretty crazy. I was proud. Put that thing to work. And immediately casted it back out before I even took care of the fish. What was I thinking? Come on. I want another kitty cat. Yeah. So, we're about to grab the scale and weigh this thing up. It was being so stubborn, it did not want to open its mouth. And uh, I won't lie, I, I'm, I don't put my hand in their mouth. I'm good. <laughs> my son, on the other hand, he don't care. He'll put his hand in there. But he grabbed a stick and pried it open. She opened up a little bit, so we got it in there. Yep, here we go. Any day now. Oh, that's right. I had to turn the damn thing on. I didn't even have the scale on. I was so excited to weigh this thing. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get a fish today. Oh, yeah, you can see it. 11 pounds, 11 ounces. Locked right in. It's pretty crazy. It's like the thing was all... I don't even know how to explain it. It looked big, but... It just didn't own up to its size. Yeah, for real. I thought for sure it was a 15-pounder. It was pulling, like, almost harder than any catfish I've ever caught. I cannot believe my audio is gone! You guys should have heard that real drag. It was crazy. I'm not going to lie. And the drag on that reel is kind of tight. You can't loosen it to where it's like you'd barely touch it and it falls out. It, it, you have to pull that one to get it to go, and it, it took it. I didn't believe that scale. We took the other scale and we actually weighed it with my other scale just to be sure. And sure enough, that fish was there. It was on. So we do let the fish go here because it's the Hudson River and unfortunately uh, they did dredging but I believe it to be still polluted. Just I don't eat fish out of there because of pollution so every fish that we catch out of the Hudson goes back but believe me if we find a cat fishing spot around here where we can keep the fish and they're clean I will keep one and do a catch clean and cook guarantee you I will I just got to find that spot which I know where there's about a four hour drive if we can go up and maybe catch them but it's not so bad for like a weekend it's, trip it's a huge lake though I, I don't know we'll figure it out couple nice pictures and we're about to let her go that water was so clear today too mm -hmm. Logan saw a huge smallmouth that was guarding a bed just around the corner from where we were fishing have to be at least a pound and a half. We did start on the wall, and then we literally just moved to the corner spot that was right next to us, and that's when the fish decided they were going to bite. About a half an hour after waiting, we were going to get ready to take off, because if we don't get a fish within the first hour and a half or so, this fish wouldn't let go of my... It wouldn't let go of the scale. <laughs> I had to get the swim bait out of there. I was messing around with the swim bait. I ended up pushing it off a little early because it was stirring up all those rocks right there and stuff, and I just I didn't want it to get in its gills, so... goes bingo so here's my outro guys that's gonna do it for today's episode if y'all like this please hit that thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and we'll see y'all next time 
This is Timmy Logan. Thank you so much for watching.